up, Tea Tribe? We have Trey Melvin sitting Ooh. with us. We have actually now dubbed this seat the Holly Scoop Hot Seat. It's a little warm. This happened just before the light turned on. So Ooh. now, are you feeling nervous? Uh, a little. You survived your first morning tea live. I yeah. did. And you? I did. Unscathed. I'm, I'm not nervous. You're not nervous. If okay, I speak, good. I speak. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> okay, Period. I like it. I like okay. it. Okay, mm. let's talk a little bit about your new music because mm. you did drop a little tidbit. Today I during did. the live, mm. I so I think you should drop some more tidbits. You know, uh, how many? <laughs> I don't know how many more tidbits I can drop. Okay, so basically, I I dropped my debut single back in May, mm -hmm. May twentieth, and I'll be, I just and I dropped my uh, sophomore single uh, July fifteenth, mm -hmm. and those are both from my debut EP, and that's that's all I can say. Okay, Ooh. but yeah. we have a debut EP. As far as like, we do definitely coming, have, coming, we coming, do coming. have some, some stuff coming. Yeah, very soon. I have a question, Trey. Uh -huh. How do you decide what you want to sing about? Uh, trauma. My trauma decides trauma. for me. <laughs> hey. Honestly, yeah, no, yeah, my, I mean, my life decides for me. I just, I have to put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. I have to put, you know, I have to put it somewhere and it, it goes easily. It's, it's really easy to, for me to write music and, and to make music. Mm -hmm. Now granted, I haven't been, I've been doing it for a long time and, and just started releasing it, but mm -hmm. I think it's the right time. I think it's the perfect time to do it. An artist. It's just my life. An artist. And honestly, artist. I, I take I take pride. So really. we had this conversation a lot here: mm. artist versus entertainer, mm. and mm. about you know artists write their own music and really are hands on in the creative process. Mm. Entertainers more so just like you know fun music. Yes, yes. So I think you're, just hearing you, you obviously identify more in the artist lane because you're yes. writing everything yeah. yourself. Yeah. Every Is that word. a lot of pressure? <laughs> uh. It is, mm -hmm. but it also just comes so naturally. I couldn't imagine it being any other way. I was talking to one of my other um, artist friends, Drix, mm -hmm. shout out to Drix, um, <laughs> up and coming, be on the lookout for him. He, we were talking about writing music and, and he was basically telling me, like, it's not so bad, I guess, that artists don't write their music mm -hmm. because it gives the artists who do write a chance to be heard. And I didn't, mm. I had never thought about it before. Me either. Before I was, for a long time, I was like, if you don't write your shit, I don't know. Because it just feels, <laughs> it doesn't feel authentic to mm -hmm. me. Right. And as, I'm a Scorpio a young man, and uh, <laughs> the truth is, is everything, you mm -hmm. know? And, and I put so much truth into my art. So for a long time, I was like, uh, if you don't write your shit, what are you, like, what are you doing? I get, you know, you have talents that you want to, mm -hmm. you want to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess where's where the entertainment you know right. comes in because like I'm not the best singer I'm not the, I'm really not the best I do have I have some pipes here and there mm -hmm. come on. you know it depends on you know what day they want to come out mm. but I am at the core of it I am a writer I'm an artist and I take Absolutely. I take pride in it I love that yeah. mm. I love that so, and you're also a content creator you have mm. a YouTube channel very successful yes ma'am um, I was looking on there and you have a lot of different characters mm. and all of these things how do you come up with those um. <laughs> Every time, this is always a hard question to answer because it, it, it'll come out of nowhere. Literally nowhere, uh -huh. yeah. Literally nowhere. Um, I could, yeah, literally nowhere. I'll just be walking in Walmart and I it'll pop up. I don't even necessarily have to see anyone or get inspiration from like specific people. It'll just come up out of nowhere because I'm fing like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just weird. I'm just well, weird. also, I feel like Walmart, just saying, you can, you a can lot get of a lot of content. Yeah, you can, absolutely. there's a lot of inspiration. But hmm. I could be anywhere. And I mean, I could just be sleeping, you know, and wake uh -huh. up like, oh. That's perfect, and you mm. know, and pull the laptop out. You know, start <laughs> so you get to work. And you get to work. Period. When you started your channel, did you set out to kind of have this massive following and have these characters and no, all that? Like, what no. was when you created your YouTube mm. username? What was your vision? Um, well, this is a commentary. It was my I started as this is a commentary. Mm. Okay. And it was literally, it was actually very blunt, very plain. It was, I, I was commentating mm -hmm. on things. I, I. I was speaking. On, I was. Yeah. This is literally a commentary. I was mm -hmm. just giving commentary. Yeah. Um, but I grew up in, I grew up in the theater and the arts. Um, I studied theater in, in school and um, creative writing, and I guess I got lost. Mm -hmm. I got lost for a second. I, I didn't. Um, I didn't know. I had too many people in my ear telling me, you know, you, that's not realistic to just pack up and to move to Los Angeles mm -hmm. and to you know and to find jobs and. Sh Mm -hmm. You need to be stable, you need to go to school, you need to get a, a degree, da, mm -hmm. da 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 And I was in school um, my first semester at Bellarmine University, shout out to to them, good old private university, 4,000 kids, 4,000 white kids, mm. um, decided after the first semester, this is a little too 
Wait for me. Um, <laughs> but it was okay. Most of the kids were from Louisville though, and they all went home for fall break. Uh -huh. I was just on campus by my black ass self, and I went to the computer lab. I was um, in the communications building, and I said, you know what? I <laughs> I have something to say. I want to speak, and I just I recorded a cute little five six minute video, put it on Facebook. All my friends told me put it on YouTube. I put it on YouTube. Within a week, I had a thousand subscribers, mm. and it just it really grew. My channel just grew from there, but it. Mm -hmm. It pushed me, and I, <laughs> I started ignoring my schoolwork. I started going to class just so I could get my scholarship money. I was completely and utterly focused on my channel, mm -hmm. and it really did push me in the direction that I needed to be. And and, mm -hmm. and I was able to start, you know, writing and producing, you know, my sketches and and short films and, and short web series and stuff like that, and, and get to Los Angeles. Like it, it really did put me on the right track. But I didn't expect it at all. Right. I'm so happy that it did happen. I love that your first video was in the computer lab. Yeah. Literally, yeah. Like that's amazing because no, I man. feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't have even taken that initiative mm -hmm. to just go and use whatever resource they had and like, okay. we're yeah. gonna start something, okay. you know? Because I think yeah. a lot of people are scared to do that. A yeah. lot of people think that you have to have it all set up and perfect on mm -hmm. the first go around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you sometimes don't. it's not that case. You don't, mm -hmm. and it all depends on like your motive too. Like, what do you want? Everybody just wants to get views and clout and be famous and make money these days because that's what digital media, social media is becoming. But I just wanted to speak. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just have something to say. Mm. So and do you here we are. <laughs> dislike kind of where things are going? Like now that YouTubers are like getting married for Clout views, and attention, yeah. And you know, multiple people are actually doing that. Or you mm -hmm. know, putting these kind of clickbait titles like My Truth, mm -hmm. My Story with So-and-So. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just, I know my fellow artists out there can relate. It's just disgusting. It's like, uh, there's just so much talent out there. So many people putting in so much work, mm -hmm. so much work and so much time into building and honing their craft and doing it by their damn selves. Mm -hmm. And we have other people out here who can easily uh, throw some, some bullshit, may I say that? May I say yes, bullshit? yes, yes. We can throw some <laughs> bullshit together and garnish, or not garnish, but um, and accumulate millions and millions, you millions know, of dollars. Right? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's upsetting, but at the, at the same time, I do like to see the best of both worlds and I like to mind my business. Mm -hmm. And I like to, you know, if you don't have talent, um, do the best you can. <laughs> hey, yeah. get your bag. Take your 15. That's a great thing, mm -hmm. that you can get your bag talentless. <laughs> That's a world we live in. Yeah, so. It's literally, Scott circle. Disick has a line that says, talentless. Talentless. Really? Mm. Literally. I should release Millionaire. the merch line. That's gonna be my merch line. Yeah. <laughs> my next merch line, <laughs> talentless. Yeah. <laughs> you struggle with that too. I feel like you talk a lot about that mm. in the YouTube community I as well. I just kind of feel like when I was watching Trey mm -hmm. seven, eight years ago, it was very much just about what do you have to say? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And now it, the culture has sort of shifted and it's more so about what can I get people excited about, whether mm -hmm. it's real or not. And I feel like people are more concerned about what are people going to think of this event mm -hmm. that I've created versus me as a creator. Mm -hmm. When I started making YouTube videos, I just wanted to like talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just wanted to stand out before right. stand was a thing. Like mm -hmm. I was just, I want to talk about Nicki Minaj. I want to talk about these people. Mm -hmm. And even when I would see people like Trey and when we mm -hmm. had um, King on, they were talking about the same things that I was talking about. So I mm -hmm. felt like there was sort of like a community there. There mm -hmm. were people like me. Mm -hmm. Now I don't see really a lot of people like me online mm -hmm. and the people that are out there, they're just sort of just, they're creating things and nothing has substance. Right. <laughs> It's disappointing. You know, yeah. what scares me, and I don't know what you think about this, but mm -hmm. with the kind of clout chasing things, mm -hmm. what scares me is the younger audience that's watching mm -hmm. that and thinking, oh my God, I wanna be a YouTuber because I can make millions by fake doing this yeah. and pulling yeah. this stunt. And that really stresses me out for yeah. some reason. So do you feel a responsibility kind of being online for younger people? I, to an extent, I okay. feel a responsibility because at, at the end of the day, um, just being honestly truth, honesty, is like key for mm -hmm. me and uh, being authentic. Um, so I just, I don't really ever, I mean, I'm trying to get better at it. My team is trying to get me better at it, <laughs> at censoring myself, because mm. I've always been really bad at it. Like when I got to Los Angeles originally, at all the different meetings I took with different producers and directors, da, 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 mm -hmm. they were just like, okay, cute, but can you tone it down? Can you, because I'm really, mm. Vulgar. I yep. like, oh, same. I'm vulgar. I'm the same way. <laughs> that's yeah, me. that's who I am. Mm -hmm. And I and people for the longest told me like, okay, but 
let's be brand friendly. You know, let's keep mm -hmm. it. Let's let's remember that. You know, keep your audience in mind. Keep you know the companies and corporations in mind. And I was like, I literally said no, and we're like, well, not walk out of the meeting. You know, on right. some yeah. foul stuff. But I would just always tell them no. I told my agents, don't even get put me in those meetings. I want to be. I want to always just be fully and authentically me. Mm -hmm. um, so that creates that has created an issue in the past mm -hmm. as far as like. Not creating an issue, but it's always been iffy. Yeah. Iffy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to be a role model, mm -hmm. but also be Yourself. me. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, censor it. But I do, I also, you won't catch me out here recording myself in, you know, suicide forests in Japan. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then capitalizing off of it. Sorry I'm going to shut my mouth. <laughs> you won't catch me doing that, you know? Yeah. So, right. yeah. The, the, the climate is completely and utterly changing. The, the TikTok is. It's growing mm -hmm. all power to you, but it. You ain't gonna hit the eight, the eight count on the TikTok. I just learned about, <laughs> I just learned what TikTok was this weekend. I did not know. It's music. My younger cousins had to educate me on uh, that. It's just musically owned by a different person now. Yes. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't. And she's growing, and it's just it's interesting being at like VidCon and playlists and all these different events, and you've got all these little these little fourteen year olds who had millions of followers. Diamonds. Oh, leather dripping. jackets on. Oh, Gucci. Oh, I could never stand that. I, even me growing up on, on YouTube, I could never stand that. The other, of the other influencers who would just run from like, it's like, why are you here? Why did you come to VidCon? Why mm -hmm. did you come to Playlist mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. run? To literally cause a scene, to be yeah. seen, and run from the people who pay your bills. Yep. I never understood that. And that's, there's a lot of that happening these days. Yes, yeah. sir. These 14, it's just, yeah. It's mm -hmm. not my I even feel like with some of the older creators, that's what it's all about. It's oh, like, absolutely. let me go. Yeah. Create a frenzy at Coachella, mm -hmm. at you know all Vidcon these places. Playlist, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. at, even I saw a video. I think I don't remember who it was. It's two influencers though at Coachella, and they were like, all of these people were like, oh my god, oh my god, mm -hmm. and they're just trying to take a picture, and then they like literally immediately like, dipped down. Exactly. You know I, mean? I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think for me, I would <laughs> even like DMs. Like people mm -hmm. DM me, and I'm always like, I feel the need to respond because mm -hmm. just having a few people support you, I think, mm -hmm. is so important. Yeah. So I like that you take that seriously yeah. and that you do hold that close because I think it's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I feel like you're moving more into like the music. That's like mm -hmm. your passion, right? I, I mean, it's it's one of my passions. Mm -hmm. I do everything. Yeah. You know, I do. I know we've been talking about music, but that's just. Can one we talk of about the? the I want to talk about the jewels. Yes. Yes. Talk yes. About the jewels. Let's talk about. We can talk about the jewelry. How does the jewelry I, relate to Trey Melvin? Um. Okay, so I released a jewelry line back in December. On Day of Jewelry, it's, it's named after my late sister. My my sister, um, my younger sister was supposed to have a twin, mm. um, and she passed away in the, in the womb. On Day is mm -hmm. named after her. Um, this is kind of sort of not really my con kind of sort of my connection to her, but my connection to I guess my way of connecting like everyone and um, we were talking about like the positive affirmations earlier that I like mm -hmm. to throw into the universe. Mm -hmm. I've been on a whole just good old spiritual journey I guess forever but specifically the past couple years and by that I mean I've been confronting a lot of trauma, past trauma, childhood trauma and really diving into myself spiritually and my soul outside of this earthly show mm -hmm. has been uh, Incredible! It's just been an incredible experience, to say the least. Hard mm -hmm. as hell. Most people don't want to do it, but it's been very. It's proven to be very, um, very rewarding. And this jewelry line is a part of that. So I've been getting my little crystals and mm. Mm -hmm. it's my um, my affirmations. And I was about to say so. I, yeah, I don't want to <laughs> give too much, but I've been getting yeah, I've been getting it myself. Okay, yeah, good. And, and it's had a, a really good reception. I didn't think that so many people were actually into. Into like crystals the, the and stuff, stuff like and that. Energy, yeah. yeah. Energy oh, oh my stuff. gosh! I think that is huge here. Huge yeah. here for sure. I know, so definitely cool. in Los Angeles. Mm. And oh, I, yeah. kind of, I hate it to an extent because a lot of people just they don't really believe it, but it's the cool thing to do. It's true. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, no, girl, there's some real. Sh you gotta clean your. Sh you gotta sage your. Sh you gotta polish. Don't you have to your... charge it? Yes. Yeah. 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 This is a way of I life know what for I'm you. Doing. No, no, no. You gotta. Yeah. You gotta. Oh, there's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Okay, well, I do want to get into some Holly Scoop. Some Tea Tribe members have some mm -hmm. questions for you. We have mm -hmm. Armani House. She said, you've inspired so many people. How does that make you feel? Incredible. It makes me feel really incredible. Because um, I don't always feel incredible. I don't always feel inspired myself. I know that when I was coming up um, and growing up, I would have loved to see someone, just like you said, look like me. Mm -hmm. Someone that I could 
relate to, someone that can mm -hmm. help me heal, and I didn't have that, so it, it makes me happy to be that. I love that. At Brazzy Night, I saw the video about you were going to be a dad. Is that true or not? That was clickbait. That was my <laughs> first <laughs> clickbait video in eight years. You know what? You gotta do it sometimes. And you know, yeah. and I see why people do it. Because right. <laughs> they, they, so they quick. clicked on it, They right? did click. They were baited. <laughs> they were baited. Uh, let's see. At, oh, I don't know, Marcy Foam. I know I'm not saying that right. Mr. Per Mr. Mr. Per Mr. Persephone. Mr. Persephone. Thank yes. you. When are we getting more of Watermelon, Dr Watermelon Drea's kids? Uh... Can't say. No, I, can't right. <laughs> probably, probably never. There's a little <laughs> plot twist coming with Miss Drea, and oh. I'm just gonna shut my mouth. Trey. I don't know if y'all gonna like it. Shut up. I'm just gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna shut okay, my mouth. Okay, at Billy Jean, what gave you yeah. the inspiration to become who you are in today's generation? That's a loaded one. Uh, are we on a time limit? Oh, um. oh the way I speak. <laughs> I just, oh, I just want to give detail. Pain. Anyone? I yeah. got just pain. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, working pain. through that. I'm just like I don't want to. I don't want to feel like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to feel it because it, it it got to a point. It gets to a point where it's like, okay, this is do or die. Mm -hmm. Like this is literally do or die. I can either confront the things that make me feel the way that I feel, that make me feel lesser than, that make me feel um, unempowered, mm -hmm. that make me feel like actual an abomination, that make me feel like, shit, or I can die. Right. And I don't want to die. So I you have to. I had to confront it, right. and I didn't want. I know, obviously, feeling that, I know what it feels like to mm -hmm. feel mm -hmm. like, to experience that. Mm -hmm. If I can stop anyone else from feeling it, that empowers me, that mm. motivates me. I love that. Turn a pain into a positive. That's Period. right. Last question, and I feel like this is a great one to end on. Jessica, 19, Jessica Ann, 1995, what can we expect from you this year? What's going on inside that mind of yours? Mm. <laughs> mm. Let us into the cosmos, Trey. <laughs> okay, like, shut up. Like I said, I got this, this good old EP. Uh -huh. I'm releasing, um, I guess by the, well, no. Uh, I'm releasing a college program this this week. Ooh. Okay. Um, uh, what I want to say, I can't say anything else. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just more the, jewelry, the mu more music, more jewelry, definitely. Perfect. And okay. College program, scholarship money for all my poor college. I get it. Mm. I've been there. Oh, okay. I love that. Here. I, I we love gotta, we gotta that. pay bills. Period. Snap, snap, snap. That's mm. my sorority girl coming out. Snap, 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 snap. snap, snap. Trey, thank you so much for coming course, and hanging having. with us on the T and right now. Uh, we appreciate it so much. We will make sure to tell everyone mm -hmm. where they can follow you and all Trey that Melvin, good stuff. T R E M E L V I N on everything Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, I guess. And stream that music. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Stream that music. Get into Trey, that. My artist name is just Trey. So mm. just T R E. Okay. Mm. With the accent to go over the E. There you go. That's just my, that's my artist name. Yeah. Perfect. Thank well, thank you so much, Trey. We appreciate you. you. T Tribe, you know what to do. Share, subscribe, comment down below. Just let us know all your thoughts and feelings. We'll mm -hmm. see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys.